Hi neighbor, my name is Hannah and welcome back to my channel, Pretty Hippie Me. My channel is about fashion, makeup, and life in general, so if you like this video, I hope that you subscribe to my channel and set your notifications to all so you can keep in touch with everything going on here in the neighborhood. Today I am in my car, I am back at it with finally another fitting room fashion video. I haven't done a fitting room video for a while because, you know, a pandemic happened. I don't know if you noticed. Also, before that, I was having some issues with the sound when I was recording in fitting room settings. A friend of mine recently gave me a little microphone that I can use that hopefully will help. <laughs> Today I'm going to be shopping at Lane Bryant for a couple of different reasons. One, they're actually allowing people to try clothing on right now in the fitting rooms, which a lot of stores are not yet in my state. We are in phase two of reopening. Stores are open, but hours are limited. Store capacity is limited. People have to wear masks. You have to social distance. And I'm gonna use hand sanitizer before I go in there. And there are certain types of businesses that are still closed, like movie theaters, places where people are gathered in close quarters for a long period of time. The scientific community has basically come to the consensus that COVID-19 passes much more through people's aerosol of their breath than through surfaces. So I'm not necessarily concerned about catching anything by putting clothing on and off, but I'm very much taking this as a personal choice and you do not have to do that. Do what's right for you in your state. Different states have different amounts of cases right now. Just do what makes sense for you. On that note, my description will have links to all the products that I tried on in this video. They are not affiliated. I just wanna help you all stay safe. I love you and I don't want you to get sick. My other thing in general about Lane Bryant, I haven't done them on my channel yet because I have very mixed feelings about Lane Bryant. Lane Bryant has always been like fine, but it's never been like, wow, amazing to make it to me worth like the $80 that the pants cost. But Lane Bryant is this like pillar of the plus size community. It's been around forever. A lot of places really like only have a Lane Bryant for plus size clothing. I also very rarely find things that actually make me happy when I shop at Lane Bryant, just to be honest with you. They have great bras, I enjoy that but when it comes to their actual clothing, it's very like middle of the road standard stuff, kind of basics that everybody needs, but they never have anything that I look at that I'm like, oh wow, this really speaks to my style or my aesthetic. Like their stuff doesn't really have a particular aesthetic besides these are clothes. <laughs> this is a shirt and it covers your body. Today, I guess my goals are to figure out what size I am there now. I've lost some weight recently. I don't really know what size I wear there now. Also, I wanna see if I can find anything at all in my aesthetic and in my price point. <laughs> Based on my past experiences with Lane Bryant thus far, my guess is gonna be not really, but I'm really hoping to be pleasantly surprised. It's been about a year since I've been inside a Lane Bryant store. So I'm hoping that I'll walk in and be pleasantly surprised by a bunch of cute things, quality that matches the prices, which usually I think is pretty debatable, and that they actually have something inside my aesthetic that I would actually find interesting and actually enjoy. With all of those, descriptions and disclaimers in place. <laughs> I'm gonna put on my mask. I have my Purell. I just wanna make sure you guys know. Oh, there it is. Ooh. I'm gonna sanitize my hands. I will see you inside the store. I'm in the fitting room and I'm ready to get started. I just wanted to mention that I planned on using some swimwear in this haul, but as I was looking around, I was really not impressed by the designs, which is a big complaint this year. I've seen a lot of people talking about it on Facebook and Instagram that they're kind of ugly swimsuits this year. There was like one or two that I liked, but neither of them came in my size, unfortunately. I have a lot of like normal clothing, which I'm happy to show you, but um, I usually do swimwear in these and that's why I'm not able to this time. But um, 
let's get into what I do have, which is interesting looking. <laughs> this is like an off-the-shoulder white, um, kind of stretch material, but with an eyelet pattern in it, which is really pretty. We have this really pretty ruffle detail along the hemline, and of course this ruffle off the shoulder, nice elastic waist. I like this dress. I feel like the length is right for me, which is a good sign. <laughs> I took off my mask because I'm not breathing around anybody else right now, but I don't actually know if that's a good idea. Um, maybe I should put it back on. I'm not sure, guys. I don't know how this works. Um, hold on. Let me put it back on. I feel better. You're just gonna need to imagine my facial expressions, I guess. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just feel safer this way. The fabrics are really comfortable. The dress is comfortable. I think it looks nice. The thing that I don't like is the volume of that right there. I know that's kind of part of the style, but I think because the waist is just this itty bitty elastic, like if this was wider, I would be much more into having this. But since the waist is just this little elastic, I kind of feel like big, big, big. <laughs> it's 40% off. They're having a summer sale right now. I'm not in love with it enough to get it because I'm a detail oriented and once I find something I don't like, it's kind of hard to forget about. I like it, but I don't love it. It's like kind of within my aesthetic, so at least I appreciate that. <laughs> but all right, there's other things I'm excited to move on to, so let's do those. Okay, first of all, let's all laugh at the amount of white things that I picked up to wear when I have a black bra on today. Uh, that's how I do. So I like this shirt. I really like the texture. It's very much in my aesthetic with the sheer like lace thing going on and the puffy sleeve and the cream color and just a lot of things about it are very much like what I enjoy. Very natural looking. The shorts are like, they're fine. <laughs> um, they're on sale for $20 and like they're okay. They're nice. There is a little room in the back so that makes me not want to buy it even though it's on sale, just because I'm only trying to move down in my weight right now. It's nice to find something like this that's particularly like boho leaning in a store like this that doesn't really do that. The shirt is full length and it has an elastic at the bottom, which I don't really love that look because it just adds a lot of poof. I don't think I'm gonna get this. It's a little bit warm, even though it's lightweight, it's like, it's making me feel hot. The elastic at the bottom is not really flattering to me. But, you know, I think both these pieces are nice, but neither of them is really like a yay, I'm in love, the way I wanted them to be, so. How much is this? The regular price, this shirt is $60. So that means it'll be $24 off, so it'll be $36 which not for me, definitely not $60. And right now 36 is a stretch and the shorts kind of fit, but they're not as flattering as I wanted them to be. So I don't think I'm getting either of these pieces. So this t-shirt is on sale for $12 and the shorts are on sale for 20. The shirt says love speaks louder and it's over like this tie-dye rainbow. And honestly, I like the t-shirt. <laughs> I don't always like the t-shirts here, but I do like this one. I might actually <laughs> get it and crop it. It goes down to like here. Give it a little crop, make it a cute crop top. So I think this is a yes for me. It's really cute. These shorts are um, not looking good to me. They only look good when I stand up straight like this. But as soon as I put my hip here, <laughs> there's so much like camel toe and like things going on. I gave it a try because I was like, oh good, Lane Bryant doing something interesting with shorts. We got some fringe, we got some bleach. It does not look good in the front to me. I'm not comfortable. This fabric is not super stretchy. It says like flex on it, but I don't know what it's referring to because these shorts are not very stretchy at all. And they're like a tiny bit too short, so that my job rob is gonna be a problem as soon as I start walking. I 
feel bad because I'm coming in here and I'm just like crapping on all of the Lane Bryant clothes, which is not what I wanted to do. This is just what happens every time I come here. This stuff is like so close, but no cigar. You know, the shirt is nice. I'm at least getting the shirt, so yay. <laughs> yeah, we'll keep going and we'll keep talking about it. Okay, my friends, so as you can see, I'm really trying to make this denim and textured cream <laughs> um, <laughs> look happen today, apparently. And both of these pieces are unfortunately letdowns. I got this shirt in a size 14. The waistline is hitting me too high. I want it to be like down here, but as soon as I move my arm in any way, it comes up. <laughs> which I hate more than anything in the world. And sometimes a way to combat that lift is to tie it tighter, but I can't tie it tighter because this is decorative. It's, it doesn't actually do anything. The waist is elastic, it's not tied. This will always just come up like that. Even though I like the texture, I like the color, I like the shape of it in theory, it's not gonna work for me. So I'm over the shirt, I'm not gonna talk about it anymore. <laughs> I'm just annoyed. The jeans are a size 16. The two size 16 shorts that I got were both a little bit too big. This size 16 jegging is a little bit too small <laughs> and they don't provide enough stretch in the thigh so they didn't come up enough. Also, they need more vertical stretch to be long enough. Like, that's how it looks on my leg. Um, it's not supposed to be that short. So this is just what always happens with Lane Bryant for me, is that stuff is like close but no cigar. This could be within my aesthetic, kind of, but if it doesn't even get close to fitting me right, then I can find better fit at Target, apparently, based on my last experience there, and it's far cheaper. So. I just get frustrated. I have a little more to show you. Hopefully we can turn this shape around. <laughs> okay. At this point, I'm getting a little bit irritated. <laughs> so yay, something not white and blue, but um, oh my God, I'm so annoyed. <laughs> so I really like these pants in theory. White linen, wide leg pants, little vertical stripe, cute little belt. The waist has elastic on the inside, makes it really fit nicely. We got pockets, we got real width to the legs. Here's the problem. It is freaking see-through. <laughs> I wish that they had lined it up to around here. It's white linen. <laughs> it is a see-through fabric. <laughs> I don't know why. How expensive are these pants? These pants are eighty dollars eighty dollars and they didn't put a lining in so that my underwear or the shirt that i tucked in or even just the outline of the pocket doesn't like show like why am i paying eighty dollars for these pants <laughs> it's insane to me this is how i plan to wear these pants with something tucked in because they're a wide leg pant. The only thing I can wear with these white pants is like a white shirt. Everything else is gonna show through. My underwear will show, <laughs> my pocket shows. It's just annoying because I really wanted to like something <laughs> and I thought it was gonna be these and I'm disappointed. If they had just put in a lining, then it would be great. Also, no lining means that I can feel this fabric and it's super scratchy and uncomfortable, so there's that too. I'm very disappointed in these pants. I like this shirt. I like this like berry color. I like the eyelet with the scalloping at the bottom. I think it looks cute when it was tucked in just now, and it is actually lined because it's a see-through fabric, so they thought to put a lining in on the shirt. I don't think I like it enough to get it. I'm just in a bad mood now. <laughs> it's a cute enough shirt. Let me check the price. So this shirt is $60 and um, absolutely not. It is not a $60 shirt for me. It's not bringing $60 of joy to me. It's gonna be 40% off because of the sale. So that'll make it like a $36 shirt. Still not, no. So um, moving on. Okay, so this does not suck. <laughs> I have three different pieces going on here. One is the blazer, which I really enjoy. I feel like it fits me really well. I really like the shape of it. The silhouette is awesome for me. You have a nice defined waist. It's a pretty wide waist, single button, kind of peplum swing out, which is great for me to allow for my hips. <laughs> 
It has a shoulder pad that's not too much, and I like the fabric. It's a knit. Um, I'm not a big blazer wearer, but I always feel like it's good to have one good blazer that you feel confident in. And this one, I feel like it fits really nicely, and I have some events where having a blazer would be nice. It is a little bit big, I'm not gonna lie. Like, so that's the only thing that's making me think about not getting it. And again, it's $80, so on sale it's gonna be 48 Yeah, it's gonna be about 48 before tax. So I need to decide if I'm gonna spend $48 on a blazer that's a little too big for me. I might ask them to order a 12 for me, because I know Lane Bryant goes down to a 12 online most of the time. I might get this size, I don't know, but I like it, so that's good that I'm debating which size to get, because at least I like it enough to want to get it. <laughs> okay, so under the blazer we have two more pieces, one which I fully understand and the second one which I don't, so guess which is which, I'll give you a second. I understand the pants, <laughs> and I don't understand the top. The pants are cute, honestly. I think that they fit really nicely for being this like kind of skinny professional pant, and even with the print I do feel pretty flattered in them. It's another item that's $80. $80. Everything in here is $80, apparently. So I don't know if I want to get them necessarily for myself, because I can find pieces that fit similarly for less dollars other places. I will give it props, because the fit is delightful. It is long enough for me. Please ignore how those shoes don't match at all. The fabric was a really good choice because of the amount of stretch that it has without being too tight. The waist comes up to a really nice high natural waist for a tall lady like me. It has a good amount of elastic without like looking like a legging, so I really appreciate that. It's a really nice well-built pant. I just don't want to pay that much for it. I'll pay it for the blazer, but not for the pants. Now I picked up this shirt because I thought, oh, cute, it's a sheer polka dot shirt. It could look like a cute, like, going out, date night kind of shirt. A little bit more forward thinking by Lane Bryant, if you ask me. However, it has this bat wing. The sleeve attaches to the hem, so if I tuck it in and then I move, <laughs> it all comes out. <laughs> It looks like this with all this hanging, so I just, I wish it had just been a normal t-shirt instead of this like bat wing thing. That would have made this like a yes for me because I like this, I think it's cute, you know? Again, close but no cigar. And I'm sure it's like stupid expensive too, everything is here. The thing is like if you're gonna price things high, the design and the quality and the fit have to make it worth that money. And that's the problem I'm having here is a lot of this stuff either quality or fit is not worth the money that they're asking for. I'm gonna grab the t-shirt and the blazer and uh, we'll meet in my car. All right! Oh. <laughs> See how red my nose is? That mask like really pulls on my nose. It's like a little bit tight. Oh God, and all my foundation got rubbed off right there. So <laughs> please excuse my little cheery red Santa nose. So I did end up going with the blazer in the size 14. I talked about it with the employee at the front desk and she and I agreed that the 14 was the better size because I think if I had gone down, it would have been too tight on my bust and that wouldn't have looked good, you know? And then I got like the rainbow love t-shirt, which I thought was really nice. Everything else, <laughs> guys, this is what frustrates me about Lane Bryant. It's insane. They have great bras and underwear, and so I have to give them credit for that. The Cacique line is really nice, absolutely worth the money. But the clothing is generally underwhelming. Hi, this is Editing Hannah stepping in here to be concise because while I was talking in the car, I ended up rabbit holing a lot. My frustration with Elaine Bryant is that they're a brand that's been around for a really long time. They've been a leader in the plus size space for a long time to the extent that they've chased out a lot of other brands, but somehow still they're getting away with putting out these products that just do not match the prices that they're charging in terms of fit and quality. You could debate about design because everybody's style is different, but I, I would say design. I think the only way that they can get away with it is because there are a lot of places in the USA where the only place you can go is Lane Bryant to get plus size clothing. But that doesn't mean that Lane Bryant should hike their prices and put out subpar products just because people are kind of like trapped into having to only buy from Lane Bryant. I know I'm being a little harsh here, 
but I just have much higher expectations for Lane Bryant because of their very long history doing plus size fashion, because of their standing as this like pillar, traditional go-to plus size brand and the amount of time they've had to grow and improve and figure out what the plus size woman really wants and they're just not. <laughs> and because I know that they can do better based on how good their Cacique stuff is. Also, by charging higher prices, you're telling the consumer that they should expect more from the items. By charging higher prices, you're saying that the items are gonna be worth that money in quality and in fit and in style. And to be honest, I just didn't think that they were. By charging higher prices, Lane Bryant sets a higher bar of expectation and they are not meeting the bar that they've set for themselves, in my opinion. Like, this is what I don't understand. There are some pieces that are real standouts with Lane Bryant. That blazer was awesome. But then you get things like white linen pants with no lining. You get jeggings with just not enough stretch in the thigh horizontally or in the leg vertically so they're too short and too tight on me. Those just seem like really straightforward obvious design flaws like that black sheer polka dotted top which would look really cute as like a short sleeve t-shirt or as a tank top but because of the sleeve is attached to the hem in that like bat wing I can't move my arm in any way to wave to a friend or to reach for a high shelf without the whole shirt coming up if I'm gonna pay as much as they're asking for like 50 and 60 and 80 dollars for these items like thank god there's a sale going on right now how are you gonna charge that much full price money when there's not a sale going on and then have stuff have so many flaws. I'm being hard on Lane Bryant because they've been around for so long. They've chased out all of these other companies. In a lot of places, they are the only plus size place. And I'm mad that they're so expensive and their stuff has so many flaws in just the little sampling that I picked up today. And honestly, I went in there hoping for the best. Like I said, it's my first time in Lane Bryant in like a year, but that doesn't mean that I've never found anything that I liked before inside there. I have. I went into the dressing room with stuff that visually I enjoyed, and then I put it on my body and it sucked. <laughs> like it didn't make me happy to wear the items. I just expect more from Lane Bryant. I really, really hope that they shape up quick because in this day and age, there are so many plus size brands right now that are coming for their bag. Even Target, where I went last week, I'm finding stuff there that I like way better, that's fitting me way better than what I found at Lane Bryant. <sighs> All right, um, sorry I like got mad. Please let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below because I wanna see other people's experiences with Lane Bryant. I'm sure that just about every plus size person has had some kind of experience with Lane Bryant. And if you agree with me that there are better places out there than Lane Bryant, leave some in the comments for other people in the neighborhood to explore and leave any and all other comments that you have in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Um, my favorite part of making videos is talking to you guys. So neighborhood talk to me tell me what you think while you're down there commenting i do hope that you like this video and subscribe to my channel and set your notifications to all the little neighborhood here on my channel is really growing we just hit 500 subscribers which is like super super cool thank you guys so much and to everybody who's new here hello welcome to the neighborhood i'm so happy to have you and thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate you and your time. I hope that you register to vote. I will have a link in the description and I hope that you then do go vote. Um, yeah, so much love. <laughs> so much love, bye. <laughs>